Twinox has had a pretty successful intentional communities conference for many years now. And with the movement expanding, we decided it was high time that we have one on the West Coast. Our friends at Groundswell Institute, who are about two hours north of San Francisco, uh, have invited us to come to the first West Coast Communities Conference. They wanted to create an experience for people who've never lived in community before, where they'd be thrown into the middle of a community in crisis, and they would actually be given a chance to help try and steer the community out of this difficult circumstance. Community in Crisis <laughs> Interactive <laughs> Theater Workshop. <laughs> We have experienced communards working with people who are interested in community, trying to facilitate a crisis. Right, like we have somebody who's going through a mental health crisis. This person's been in trouble for a while. The community's figuring out what to do about it. And then somebody unilaterally decides that things go out of control and they call the police. And other people think that's a terrible solution. So what about the damn goat fence? It's been a year. You guys were on this project. The community gave $4,000. What the hell is happening? The problem is she won't help me. That's not true. I have been working on this all the time, every day, and what? you managed to somehow never help me with the parts that I need. So I, I think I see both of you trying to work on this. I don't see you working on it so much together. Do you need help beyond the two of you? He needs to work out his issues. I'm happy to So that we can move on. Okay, she so just brought up issues that I have, that she has with me. I wouldn't be having issues with you if you would just do what you said. You guys just keep your personal drama to yourselves. You're taking up community time with this. I want to know what's happening with the fence. Why is everything in the bedroom broken right now? Because all the things that are broken are my things. And I can break the things in my room that I want to break. I'm a little concerned that me being one of your things I'm leaving. Probably would. She threw over a table and I was feeling uncomfortable. I didn't know what to do, so I called the cops. They took the care of community. We work things out together. She was having a hard time. We could have been there for her. She felt like so, so I called 911. Did I didn't know what to do. This is not a community that I want to be part of. You're going to be doing that. I'm out of here. All right. What do you need? I need this person to acknowledge that they did the wrong thing. Uh, no. How can you appeal to the institutional violence of the state to handle our problems? This is our problem. Instead of calling the, the mainstream police, can we get some community process going where we can have like an emergency conflict resolution without going outside? What, like that's what you do in a situation like that. Think outside the box. Can we please be solutions focused? So let's make a new rule for next crisis. How are we going to be solutions focused if, if people don't admit when they've done something wrong? Um, why don't we make a list of right things that we can do? Cut! That's beautiful. That's so we are reaching out to you, our friends, and supporters who will now thank to help us bring these experienced commune art actors out to the West Coast from Virginia. We'll need about $1,800 to get our commune arts out to their kindred spirits on the West Coast. We hope you can help.